Welcome back to On the Record. We're here with uh, Steve McCutcheon, who's the CMO of Pax8, which is a brand new company. Um, welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, so this is the very first show that Pax8 is, has been involved in here at the ASCII. Um, Why did you pick ASCII? You know, we're, uh, we're big believers in ASCII. In our uh, previous company, much of the executive team came from a company called MX Logic, and we know were big well. supporters of, uh, of ASCII at that. We had great results from, uh, from our shows. It's, uh, you know, we, we're big believers in the, the, the approach of helping the channel out, and that's what Pax8 is all about, too. We're, uh, we're in business to help the channel do a better job of dealing with cloud technologies. So. That sounds, it sounds really great, but it actually means nothing so far. <laughs> yeah, so right. explain how you do it, what you're doing. Okay, um, Pax8 is a cloud VAD, a value added distributor. And I what we that. built was a, uh, a thing we called the command console. And the command console is a, a single pane of glass with APIs on the back end that tie into multiple different cloud technologies. So a partner can go into our command console and set up accounts one time and then inter interface with multiple cloud technologies. Instead of having to go to each different technology's portal, they can do it all in one place. Interesting. So That's the technology side. And why is that good? Well, it's good for administrative uh, reasons. It, it saves time. You don't have to input information over and over again into multiple um, portals. Um, it also helps on the billing. Unified billing comes out the back end, so they can take it from quote to order to provisioning is all automated to support to billing all in one place. So it saves everybody time. It saves everybody time. And makes it a lot cleaner. I was just going to say, and, and it, their ability to not, like, they won't lose as many things in, in the exactly. process. Exactly. It, 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 there's not as much, many mistakes along the way. Yeah. But that, uh, while that is our technology side, one of the things we're really proud of is our, our sales and marketing support. We have what we call sales on demand and marketing on demand, where we have teams of sales reps that become an extension of our partners' sales teams. So they don't have to retrain their sales guys on how to sell cloud products or how to, uh, to, to talk about monthly recurring revenue or any of those kinds of things. All they have to do is uh, call our sales team. Our guys will demo the, uh, the service for us. We'll even do cold calling on behalf of our partners to help them generate new accounts. Interesting. Anyway, it sounds great. Um, you've been in this business for how long? Well, uh, let's see, I started in 2004 with uh, MX Logic, and then uh, Pax8 started about uh, about a year and a half ago in development of our, our console, so we have a good 14 months into development of our technology, and this is the first time we put it out in public. And and everybody's walking away and saying, Ugh. Yeah, no, I don't no, think we're so. Getting, we're getting great response, especially when we talked about our promo for free revenue partner signs up with us, we will identify what their prospects are, what kind of businesses they want to, uh, to go after. We'll buy a list, we'll cold call, we'll set appointments for them. They show up as the account uh, lead and we're on the phone uh, doing the WebEx for the technology. So it's a, a, um, an easy way for partners that are making a transition from break fix and from hardware software sales to get into the cloud. Sounds fabulous. Thank you. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, thank you.